Here is your Robinson Knight Highlight Reel for 2022. These are the key plays from our state championship season. The seventh time the Robinson Knights have been state champions, and now six in a row. This year, we're highlighting plays from five of our games in order, and we'll conclude on the state championship game. Our first play is a highlight from our South Tampa rivalry game versus the Plant Panthers. Let's freeze this play right here and ask ourselves, how in the world is this a highlight? We have a fast double rush by Plant with both rushers quickly bearing down on our quarterback. The other Plant defenders are in a sound and disciplined cover two alignment. This is probably gonna turn out to be a highlight for Plant. But thanks to the not so secret weapon that is Adriana Williams, pop some popcorn, sit back and watch the show as she avoids all Panthers and scores from the backfield. Moving on to game number two, it's a weekend battle with FAMU where we will have three highlights. Unfortunately for this game, our sideline camera failed, so just like our referees, these highlights are visually impaired. We only have the end zone view. First play's a gem. We have a slant route to senior Krista Rolak. The pass is a little behind her, and it looks like she doesn't have a chance of pulling it in, but with a little Jedi Force magic, she draws the ball into her hands and somehow makes the catch. But wait, she's not done. She immediately turns upfield and leaves all 13 other players, plus the referees, in her dust. Six points for the Knights. Next play, well, it features our same senior. Few things help decide games as much as a pick six, and that's exactly what happens here. The human highlight reel with two top plays in a row, Crystal Rolak. Our third and last play for FMU is a Robinson Classic. Ask yourself, do you have a great quarterback? Check, we have more than one. Do you have a great center? Well, Bella Rodriguez certainly earns that check mark. And do you have a great running back? Also a big yes for Robinson. If you answered yes to those three questions, consider running this play. Stearns to Rodriguez to Williams, the modern day Evers to Tinker to Chance. And that brings us to our wildest game of the year versus Leonard. The coach of Longhorn is a little guy, but he made up for his diminutive size by having his team being uber prepared for the night's visit. The Longhorn came out of the gates full throttle and immediately took control of the game. They simply could do no wrong. Early in the second quarter, they lead our Knights 19 to zero. That's not a typo. Our six time state championship team was down three scores to none. Where other teams might wilt, the Knights stayed focused and we would work our way back into this thrilling game. The first play we highlight is a great throw and catch on the go from Brianna Stearns to head captain Jalen Stasio. This score just before halftime was absolutely critical to keeping Robinson in this game. Now later in the game, Robinson is still trailing, but they've driven the length of the field and just seconds remain. A direct snap to Audrey is the call and it works. Robinson has worked its way back and now leads the game. Leonard still has one chance to win at their home field. That chance is Dash though, thanks to the effort of senior corner, Lindsey Chadwick, who seals the night victory with this interception. Now we move on to Jacksonville and the state semifinal game versus Jensen Beach. We've got one play to highlight and it's yet another Crystal Rolock game changer. They try to throw a pass in between our linebackers and safeties, but Crystal leaps up high and snags the ball at her apex. Then she heads the opposite direction. At the point of the interception, she was in a pack of defenders. By the time she reaches the end zone, she's 10 yards past all. She completes the pick six. Our last highlights come from a very tough fought game versus Chuck Tehachi in the state championship game. Unfortunately, Chuck Tehachi's opening drive has them first and goal on the three yard line. In flag football, getting just three yards in four plays is nearly a given. But Knight Junior, Julia Guillermo, resets that math with this huge sack to put the Indians back another 10 yards. Instead of scoring and taking the lead, their drive gets no closer and the Knights will take over on downs. All year, instead of stalling, the Knights took care of business. Our senior captain, Jalen Stasio, makes this touchdown catch from Brianna. She actually catches the back half of the ball, somehow, somehow holds on, and gets the early score and Knight lead. Later in the game, the Knights work their way down the field in a 15-play drive, but it could go for nothing as we have just one play left. It's fourth and goal on the 11 yard line. This demands perfect execution. Junior captain Kate Robinson runs a perfect route. 
Stearns delivers the ball on time and right on target. Even the Indians play it well and contest the catch, but Kate juggles, then snags that ball. A huge touchdown for the Knights. Our next to last play demands some fancy math. The Knights have the lead 18 to 12. We have the ball. Only 56 seconds remain. It's fourth and only one yard to go. If we go for it and get the first down, we run out the clock and we win. But if we do that and fail, Chuck Tao gets the ball and only well, less than 20 yards to go for what could be their win. If we punt it, well, you never know what happens with a punt and flag football. But we'll probably give them worse field position. With the state championship on the line, what would you do? Well, the night coaches take option C. This is an intentional safety. We give up two points, and this means the Indians will get the ball, but on their 30. With less than a minute to go and no timeouts left, we felt this gave us the best odds of securing victory. That gamble pays off on the very next play. This is the play of the year. It seals the Knights' sixth straight state title. Here, Knight Manasavi B.J. Aragavan puts herself in perfect position and makes an interception. The Indians' hope for a last-minute drive to win is dashed before it could even get started. From here, Knight quarterback Sidney Hall will take two knees, the clock will wind down to zero, and the celebration begins. Congratulations to all the Knights, to those that came in years before and helped build this program, to those who supported us in the stands, and to all the players who worked so hard all year, to those who will be back next year, and to the seniors who completed an unblemished career of championships.